Well, hey, Ross. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> Been a while since we've unboxed something. I think it was the red camera. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> How's your phone been treating you over the last couple of years? What kind of phone have you been rocking? iPhone 7 Plus. It's black. I bought it from you. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys remember the 7 Plus unboxing way back in the day, how she held up after, what is it now, 7 years? years. <laughs> well, it was your router for the first year, so that was... That's right, yeah. Didn't have Wi-Fi at the house, so this was the hot spot. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah, it was hot all the time. It was plugged in <laughs> all the time. I'm surprised the battery didn't go bad sooner. First battery was like five years. I put another one in it. It's on its third screen. Third screen? Wow. I replaced it. I dropped it when I was overseas, mm -hmm. and then I was running in my PT pants, and I'm like, I don't need to move that. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> it ate the pavement like a month later after changing it, so I changed it twice out there, and I haven't wow. changed it since. Good job. Uh, Repairability. Yeah. yeah. This phone it's is really easy. I don't even think all the parts are in there anymore. No, no case, screw. though, huh? Yeah, no case the entire time. Hence you like giant, it that way? giant gouge. I don't know. There's just something grippy about the aluminum. Kind of like polished off. It looks worn. Kind it of looks like used. It is used. <laughs> it's a giant gash in the back where I jumped up on something metal and it uh, saved me and the phone did not. There was a, a bend <laughs> in the battery and a big old divot dot in the screen that got changed out. The volume buttons don't work. Oh. The silent lock button does work. The okay. lock screen button works. Tore the cable on like the third screen replacement to the uh, touch ID, but the home button still works. So okay. I only tore like two or three little contacts <laughs> in it, not the entire ribbon. So wow. thankfully I didn't have to get another one. Yeah, I have to put in my digits every single time. I uh, No more biometrics then. Where yeah. did you get the SIM slot that's silver? <laughs> it was like a dollar. I was getting a battery. I'm like, I'll just, I'm going to be cool because I was in basic <laughs> and we all put our phones in this plastic tub yeah. and everyone's like, oh, I need my phone. And everybody had a black phone. I'm like, this is really dumb. I need one that's Something, at least something on there. Now I have this giant gash, but... It's iconic, and you're slowly changing the color. Yeah. <laughs> you're switching to silver. Off. That's kind of nice. It's kind of futuristic. It's like the work truck of phones. It's got a story to it. How many iPhones have you owned now? Two. This is the second iPhone. Yeah. yeah. That's impressive, honestly. Like, most people probably don't hold on to their phones that long, but what brought you to today? Like, maybe it's time to um, retire the old boy. I don't know if it's because the... Something got bent or it's shorting out, but when it does like high demand applications or something, or it bends a certain way, I'm always throwing it in and out of my car. I don't really treat it nice, but <laughs> it restarts about six times a day. Six? Wow. Yeah, it's about the average number. Okay. It'll be like in the middle of, oh, somebody's going to call it, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it's just how things are or if it knows. It never does it when people need to call me, usually. Okay. But... I take that back. It does today. But like for the majority of time, it's not really like it, I won't be actively using it and then it dies. It's like it's yeah. just sitting in my pocket and I pull it out and it's like, you need to put your numbers in because it restarts. Yeah. Like it's annoying fast. And we know it's not the battery health, right? Because we check. No, it's a 92. Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah. So it's not like the battery just needs to be replaced. There's some other wear and tear. Apple software. <laughs> or software. <laughs> Do you feel like it started crashing more after an update was issued to it? Oh, uh, yeah. The last one. The last really? major one that I can remember. I don't think it gets any more updates, which mm. seems kind of sus. Claude, it's only seven years old. Yeah. Apple. It's just going to turn into an iPod now. That's its retirement path. It served us well, <laughs> both of us, mostly you. I owned it for probably three months, and then I found some other iPhone to review or upgrade to. But what's the next seven years of Ross iPhone going to look like? Uh, Nokia. No, I'm just kidding. Nokia would be cool. Oh. What's stopping you from... Uh, Flip phone. FaceTime and my lady. Oh, yeah. Gotta have some video calls. I'm surprised they ship this in an envelope. They can mail you your phone with a postage stamp. Oh, there you go. That's the price of quality right there. The check mark. That's how you know you got a good deal. Whoa! Oh, I thought it was not in there. I'm like, it's empty. We got a box. We're in the very good category, so I hope your expectations are... Pays good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, saving and sustainability. If you really care about the environment. Saving and sucks. <laughs> eBay always sides with the buyer, which is why you do your safe, right? If you sell yourself, they'll side with the buyer. <laughs> buy yourself. There's just a bunch of cardboard. That would be normally a type C cable, but no power brick though. That's I'm unusual. surprised they even put the cable in there. I thought they'd just be like, You're buying a phone, not a cable. Wow, this is a little one, huh? Yeah. Whoa! Went for the iPhone 13 mini. After looking at the 7 Plus. How's the quality looking? You see any damage or... Oh, not yet. Now oh, I there did. we go. <laughs> it's first drop. Wow. This one's just like completely loaded up with fingerprints. Yeah. This it's one will be smaller. completely loaded up with fingerprints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right, you do the honors. Me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm okay. just 
looking around for any signs of wear. I thought there was a scratch on the aluminum, but it was just a smudge. It scratched right off. It's not good in the case. No? No, it's, you gonna, don't... it's gonna wear its abuse. You've got a glass back now, though, remember? Not for long. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> rip it off. Scratched glass back. Here, this is what everyone wants. B33. Ooh, pretty clean. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, just looks like they didn't wipe it down. That's all very good means. Yeah. <laughs> How much was this on eBay refurbished? Um, it was three fifty, and then with tax, shipping was free. It was three seventy five. It's a wow. one twenty eight iPhone thirteen mini, unlocked. Sweet. This one still has a SIM tray. You can still pull out the physical SIM if you want, because oh, yeah, they can't do that. that on the fourteen or the ah. fifteen. Booted right up. Hello, give us your data. So if the back shatters, are you gonna replace it? No. You'll just wear it. Just wear it. <laughs> Badge of honor. Let's see what else did you get. You get your first OLED display. It's still a dual camera, but no more telephoto lens. Now it's ultra wide. So you tell I can take point fives now. And... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like all the cool kids do. That's worth. <laughs> you can record 4K at 60. I don't think the 7 could yeah, do that. Uh, 4K at 30. You've got 5G. This I had LTE on this guy, but not mm -hmm. 5G LTE. And they've been actively throttling 4G. If it looked slower, that might be why. And you're gonna have to get used to no home button now. Are you are you comfortable with that? That's all right. I use work phones that are 14s and up. Oh. It's like, I'm not illiterate of the thing. I just, okay. It's just silly because I didn't even really thank her. There's no instructions or nothing. I just... No, huh. it's just you, you hold just them like, near each other. It's kind of interesting. I don't think your last phone had that feature. No, it didn't. I, Which iPhone did you have before the 7? The 4. Wow! Okay, this is cool. Oh. This is, I'm glad we've captured this momentous occasion because I've known you for a little while and it feels like phone upgrades are a, are a rare hmm. occurrence, so we gotta capture this one. First impressions, just like the size compared to your old phone, what do you think? Is it too small? Actually, I already like it more. This is, yeah? this is boat anchor. <laughs> this other one's, I don't know if I like the flat sides, I'll have to get used to that, but this feels like an iPhone 5. It really it's does. It does. It's kind of like the same size and finish. I wonder if my brother's case would fit on it. Camera bump's probably gonna throw everything ah. off. The only thing really preventing me from switching to this phone is the port. I've just fallen in love with Type-C, and ah. this is still lightning, but I don't know if that bothers you or... No. Here's, here's our damage right here that we got it's on the uh, charge port. Oh, interesting. A little bit. Well, pre-scratch so you don't have to worry about keeping it pristine. Unless that bothers you. No, it's all good. Interesting, they got rid of all the speaker things down here at the bottom, or allegedly. Uh, they just yeah. had more of them and they said, let's just not have the ones that don't actually do anything. I think your battery life should be better though. I don't know if battery was a concern. Now you can I, doom yeah. scroll even more. Doom scroll, that's a thing? Yeah, people just go on social media and look at the most terrible things. Yeah, oh, I don't have social media, so I... Not privy to it. I hardly even Problem watch YouTube. Solved. I mean, you're the most YouTube I get. <laughs> you're in YouTube now. Oh. Cool. How long do you think this one will last you? A week. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I think eBay refurbished came with like a 60 day return window. So if it does something really crazy, you can get a refund and everything. So what That's do you better think? than Apple. It is. That's yeah. kind of weird. <laughs> Apple's, I think, a 14 day return policy. Come to think of it, I have not bought an iPhone from Apple. That's true, you never have. <laughs> I bought a computer from them. That's true. Some iPods. Never a phone. That's probably the best way to do it. Would you recommend eBay refurbished at this point? It came in two days and That's it was free fat. shipping. And I mean, as far as it looks, it looks like it works. There's nothing bent and nobody's like belly button lint shoved in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. For less money than a brand new iPhone SE, you get a smaller form factor, but a bigger display, double the cameras, better battery, just better overall for the small price of, there's a little scuff here and there. Yeah. It's gonna get scratched anyway. I don't mind if it's been in somebody else's hands. The thing of it, if you buy a new phone, you hand it to somebody, it's in somebody else's hands. That's true. You remember your iPod Nano, like 4G, you handed yeah. it to me, it was brand new, and I went, oh, sweet. And I was like, <laughs> grabbed it, I dropped it like immediately, like that's enough of that. And, <laughs> and then after four years, we started talking again. Any advice you have for them if someone's in your similar situation? Would you recommend an eBay refurbished or getting a few year old iPhone, that kind of thing? I mean, unless there's something you really, really want on that new phone, you can pay three or four times as much for it. Or a 15 that's all tricked out. But I don't social media. It's just like a, I might go on the internet and look at car parts or something here and there, mm -hmm. little things to fix stuff. But I'm not running around surfing the web or watching tons of YouTube or doing social 
social media stuff. Because you're a productive member of society. <laughs> I just found other things to fill my time with. And That's awesome. If I really need to know something, somebody will come find me and be like, did you know? <laughs> That's usually what happens. I, and it's kind of weird instead of being a big old wide scope let me see what's going on in the world all over the place it's like if there's anything that's really big somebody will come find me and tell me there you go either family or friends be like, hey did you hear about this and keep it local no i did not <laughs> ignorance is bliss that's true it bites you but i haven't been bit yet has the camera impressed you or disappointed you all at all on the 7 plus are you excited for a bunch of camera My upgrades thing i hate the most about iphone cameras is when it's like oh snap look at that plane eagle whatever car yeah. driving by and you hold it up and the bugs on your windshield are like this is what you really want in life <laughs> <laughs> and the number of times i've had that happen uh, because it's like you only have so much time you drive by and it's gone but like i have quite a few pictures of bugs well the good news is even if you spent sixteen hundred dollars on a 15 Pro Max with one terabyte, you'd have that exact same problem. They have not figured that out yet. No! You think there'd be some software thing, like, you're driving. Let's yeah. uh, let's make the focus thing a little bit further. And I know people take selfies in the car, but, like, if you're on the front facing camera, that would make sense to focus near. But yeah. if you're on the far away camera, you're probably... Maybe your phone is looking in not the direction of travel. Mm -hmm. Maybe, just maybe, you could have it focus further out instead of, man, really look at this, like passenger window glass. <laughs> With all this AI and all of these neural cores, no, they still haven't figured all that I, out. I'm just picky, that's all it is. I'm just ungrateful for my bug guts. I wish they still made them in that size. I think you made a decent choice. 13 mini should get at least another five, six years of software support. All Super my bank compact. information and all my biometrics. They'll be able to clone me at that point. <laughs> then they can just have that one buy another iPhone. Well, thanks for letting me uh, watch you unbox it. <laughs> Make sure it wasn't a bomb or anything. Thank you to everyone supporting directly. Ross gets none of that, but <laughs> he gets a good hug. This is your Apple Sheep. This is your Apple... What animal would you be? Um, unwilling. <laughs> Not stubborn, but just like... What kind of animal dabbles sloth. every once in a while? Your apple sloth. Yeah. That's good. It's very slow to change. Just taking it. Can't be beaten down. Just just going with the flow. I like that. And we'll see you guys in uh, seven years. Bye-bye.